Hey guys, so I have decided that I am going to attempt at making a mold. I know, I'm not going to be going down this rabbit hole. I did not want to have to do this, but making these tic-tac-toe boards um, it's kind of a pain in the ass because I love making them and all the different things that you can do with them, but the mold only comes with two X's and two O's. So I'm going to make my own mold with three more X's and three more O's to give five of each. That way I can do them all at the same time. Because when you have to go back and do them in like stages, sometimes you don't get the same amount of glitter, the same amount, the same color of pigment. So you can make like one batch for all your X's and O's. So hopefully this is the only mold I'm going to have to make. And hopefully I don't enjoy making it because I got enough shit going on right now. I don't need to add mold making to my mix. So, this is one of my boards that I did. I showed in a previous video. This is the mold. So this is the board and then the two X's and the two O's. So, let me set this aside. Aw, oh, shit. Ugh. just dropped that on the floor so that's got all kinds of glitter on it now so I have this little cheap little Tupperware I've watched a couple videos not a whole bunch because like I said I don't want to go too far down in the rabbit hole but this is just a Tupperware that I cut So this is packing tape. I don't know how it's going to end up because it's not a huge thick piece. So it's got, you know, I had to like layer them. So I'm sure on the other side of the mold, it's going to show some of these lines, right? But that's okay because it's my mold. I'm not selling them. They don't got to be pretty. They just have to work. So I just took this and I put the tappy. I put the um, packing tape on. I see a lot of people taking the tap. Pap I can't speak. The packing tape and putting it sticky side up and trying to rearrange it on their little thing. And then putting the board on, but I thought it would be easier if I just put it on this way and then just flipped it over. I don't know if there's a reason they did that. There probably is, but I'm just going to take another piece of tape just to put it down here so that it holds it down. Again, not sure if this is necessary, but it makes it easier for me so that my mold isn't moving around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But you gotta... You want to make sure that your tape is tight. And then this is pushed down. So, then I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to go around all of these edges. What the hell? 
What the hell? This is popping up. You probably don't want it to pop up. So. Like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty because it's mine and I'm not selling them. Although I know all y'all are going to go because you're going to think, wow, I need to make one of them because I got that stupid tic-tac-toe mold also. So, so this is... I got this from Let's Resin. I just got the little 10 ounce bottles. Um, one to one. It's silicone rubber. It comes part A and part B. Looks like this. And it's from Let's Resin. I know they sell resin too, so make sure it's the silicone rubber. It says no toxic, no odor, odor and bubble free. So we'll see. We will see. So let me heat up my glue gun and I'm going to glue hot glue all the way around the edges so that there's no leakage. And I'm going to mix this up one-to-one -one ratio in this bucket and then I'll bring you back for the rest of it so hang on one second I don't know if you could see these I'll give you a close-up I'll have them linked in my Amazon I can't speak, guys, in my Amazon shop. I'll probably put them in the silicone mold tab. So, all right, I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys. I am back. Um, so I went ahead and glue gunned all the way around so it doesn't look like there's any leaks. I don't think you're supposed to glue gun around the inside, which to me it makes kind of more sense to do it on the inside, but I'm not a mold maker, so... Anyway, I have my glue gun still on just in case. Just in case we spring a leak. So this, the bottle on this says one to one by weight on the bottle. In the directions, it says one to one by weight or volume but by weight is recommended. So, I went ahead and did it by the scale. So I did seven ounces of part A and seven ounces of part B. So, it says to stir it for like five minutes. I've already stirred a bunch of it. I'm using a plastic spoon I don't know if you guys can see that because I'm zoomed in. I'm using a plastic spoon or a plastic stir stick because I've watched a few videos and if you use a wood stir stick, sometimes the wood that they use to make those craft sticks have sulfur in them. And I hear that it does not play well with silicone. So. Just to be safe, I'm using a plastic one. But the same as resin, you want to scrape all your sides, your stick off, all that. 
This particular one does not change colors. Some of them are blue and a blue one and a white one, and then it'll all turn all blue when it's mixed. This is just kind of transparent clear, which really makes me want to add glitter to it because this mold that I got has glitter in it, and I think it's so cute. But because this is my first mold and first time using this product, I'm not going to push my luck because I guess if you put glitter in it, maybe there might be a speck of glitter that's on the underneath of your mold that causes a bubble. So we don't want that. So, okay, so I got my sticky tape. I got this all glue gunned. I'm going to use three of my previous poured resin thingamabobs, X's and O's. So I want the super shiny side up. So pick out, you know, which side was the shiniest and you want that up. And then you just want to put these in and stick them down to the paper. That's not paper, it's tape. Stick them down to the tape really, really good shiniest side up. Leave room around your edges so your mold's not um, super flimsy or have really thin sides. This is just all information I've gathered from the professional mold makers on the YouTubes. And of course, a little bit of common sense. Sometimes you gotta use that too. All right, so there's my O's. Super shiny side up. Anything that's on your little piece is going to show up in your mold so like this piece of hair that's stuck to it oop now I just smeared alcohol on it or silicone on it all right bear with me So you want to get everything off of your little game piece that you're going to use because it will show up in the mold. If there's a little scratch, a button, a messed up side. Yeah. Oh. Guess that bad boy's down. I was going to reposition it, but I'm not going to. I probably should have cleaned off the O's. The O's, the O's. Super shiny side. Where's the super? They're all pretty shiny. Son of a gun. So you want to get all the extra glitter that just came off of your floor off of it and the dog hair
and stick them in there. Should I clean these? Oh, I messed up. Come on. I put the shiny side down on that one. Oh, I did it on this one too. I'm so screwing up. Welcome to making molds for dummies. As I'm explaining to you guys that you want the shiny side up, I'm putting it down. So I'm just going to clean any sort of fingerprints off of these with some alcohol. Okay. All right, so they are all stuck down. And then it says you can pour it. I don't know what the work time is. It does say that if you add heat to it, it's going to shorten your work time. So you don't really want to add heat. It does say no bubbles, and I literally do not see any bubbles, except for the one I just created. All right. So measuring, put your little thingies in. Now you just pour it over. And it says you want it over the top at least a quarter of an inch because you don't want to make your mold too thin. So, because then your mold will rip. So, give it one more good stir. Please don't leak. Like I said, I only have one kit and I only have about three ounces of each part. Um, let me reread these real quick before I go and make a epic mistake. It doesn't say anything about having to have any mold release on your little pieces. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Jesus, take the wheel. Here we go. I'm going to pour along the sides just to make sure I don't have any leaks before pouring it all in. Oh, I have a feeling I'm going to have to remake these. These pieces. How can this silicone not stick to those X's and O's I put in there? I don't know. I'm not a chemist. Hopefully I calculated how much I needed correctly. It will be amazing if I did. And by calculation, I meant guess. Am I leaking over there? These stir sticks don't have a, um, A good side to like scrape with. So I am going to just use this wooden stir stick just to get the sides. I 
All right, guys, I think I have enough. I see bubbles coming up to the rising. I don't know what this is going to do. If I'll be able to pull this rubber silicone out like I do resin, but we'll find that out too. All right, so bubbles are sticking to the side. Or bubbles are coming up. Doesn't look like I have any leaks. If you do get a leak, you can just take your glue gun and just like go and hit it again where the leak is. Um, there's lots of bubbles in there. And my work surface is not level. Hang on, let me go get my level. I hope these bubbles make it up. It's way off. Well, how the hell can that be? Hmm. This is crazy. All right, level. You guys, I just feel like I'm keep going around. It's not leveling out. Well, isn't this a funny little game? No. It's not. Okay, that's as level as it's going to get because I'm all done with that. All right, so there's bubbles. I don't know what we're supposed to do with them. It does not say 
to add heat to it. It doesn't say, I mean, they're still popping. I can see them pop. It doesn't say to spray alcohol on them. It just says pour it. It says pour the silicone into the container to cover the item. The silicone should cover the top of your item by at least a quarter inch. If you make it too thin, it could rip. And then it says adjust the position of the item and let the silicone cure. The bubbles will disappear gradually. I'm supposed to adjust the item. Uh, not supposed to let stuff I don't think they floated. No. I'm not going to adjust anything. They stuck. That's why you have the paper. That's why you have the tape, right? All right. So there you have it. They are popping the bubbles. Hang on. Let me see if I can take you in. Let me pause you for a second. Okay. I'm back. There's quite a few bubbles in it, but if you look this way, ugh, ring light. If you look this way, you can see them. See the bubbles? Okay, hang on. Stop it. See, there's a bunch of bubbles. But if you Watch the surface. You can see them popping. So maybe as it heats up and cures, the bubbles will come back up. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. Everybody keep your fingers crossed. I sure hope I didn't mess up my pretty little dragonfly and butterfly things. All right, guys. I will see you back here tomorrow. For you, it's going to be like that. So, um, I'll see you back soon. Hi, guys. We're back. This is the next day. It's very rubbery. I still see bubbles in it, but maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. Um, but hopefully it will turn out. Wow, I really got this stuff taped down, don't I? Guess I didn't think that through when I went tape wild. My X-Acto knife's not very exact anymore. I need a new one. So, I'm not sure that I'm not very confident in my mold making skills. But It's my first time. I am definitely, however, confident in my taping skills because, damn, I've got this stuff. 
I was really worried that I was going to have some leaks. <laughs> I just need to get it off the board. I'll clean up the board later. Okay, let's get that thing out of the way. All right, so this is what we have here. And then they say that you just rip off this tape Hope the mold's coming out, but the tape's not coming off. I was supposed to do sticky side up, right? Right? Wasn't I? Oh, there we go. Some leaked under the pieces. But, you can trim that away. I got lots of cleanup to do. Alright, I don't want a bunch of stuff, stuff stuck to it, so I'll bring back this tray. All right. So all this extra stuff can just be trimmed. They say you can just cut it. Well, doesn't seem to be sticking to my pieces, which I had horrible thoughts of. Yay, it didn't ruin my pieces. Let me make sure you guys are still in focus. Looks pretty clean, right? I'll show you a close-up after I get them. I will show you a close-up after I get them all demolded. This mold material feels pretty um, durable. Not that I've used any other mold material, but I have bought molds. So, and any of the rubber that's stuck to your pieces just comes right off. So that's good. I was so worried. This is going to make making those tic-tac-toe boards a lot less painful and not like a four-day process. <clears throat> that was just ridiculous. I'm sure the company is going to come out with just a mold of just X's and O's because people are complaining, but it 
and it would probably it's probably going to be cheaper than all right so this one's kind of stuck in pretty good I might have to cut that one out it's just because it's got like a this thin skin over it so you can just take like an exist an actual sharp exacto knife you can trim the edges later but just to get it out don't cut your mold I'm just cutting a little bit just to get the piece out and I'll trim it up later this is probably the one that I adjusted because they said adjust your pieces come on gather So yeah, this one needs lots of trim up. Lots of trim up. All right, so there are bubbles in it, but they don't, I don't know, I guess I won't know for sure if they will affect the mold. Um, until I do a casting with it. Already a dog hair on it. Brand new. Right out of the box. This one, however, is not my Husky. This is the Luna. Oh, that one's just built right into the mold. That's awesome. All right, guys, let me bring it over to you. Can you see it? I don't have my flash on. See, that one needs to be really trimmed up. But see, like, the bubbles... I won't know until um, I make a cast. But there's little pieces like in the bottom. Do you see that bubble? So, okay, so for my first go at it, I don't think that's too bad. I just got to trim it up a good and then I will um do a cast and see if they work so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um hope you enjoyed learning how to make a mold with me and if you have one of these molds and you want to make a mold the information is down below in my Amazon shop, the uh, in the mold tabs, the silicone mold tabs. Also, <clears throat> um, the original tic tac toe board is also down there. So, uh, thanks for uh, joining me today, guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day. See you on the next video.